Alright, hello everybody, welcome to another video today, my name is Chris, and today is Tuesday, December 29th, 2020, and as of today, Lord & Taylor uh, has officially closed off half of their store fleet, it was originally 17, however the other Illinois store was added at the last minute, so now 18 out of the 38 Lord & Taylor locations that were liquidating uh, is now closed, meaning there are now only 20 uh, Lord and Taylor locations that are currently liquidating, uh, and these were the these are the following stores that did close for the very last time today: the Danbury Fair Mall in Danbury, Connecticut; West Farms Mall in Farmington, Connecticut; Northbrook Court in Northbrook, Illinois; Woodfield Mall in Shawhamburg, Illinois. And it, it, for Illinois and Maryland, it is the final two, the Mall at Columbia in Columbia, Maryland, White Flint in Kensington, Maryland. These, uh, yep, so the final two for Illinois and the final two for Maryland in Massachusetts, three out of the four. So 75% of the stores in Massachusetts uh, did close today. That included the South Shore Plaza in Braintree, Massachusetts, the Prudential Center in Boston, Massachusetts, and the Burlington Mall in Burlington, Massachusetts, New Hampshire. It is the, f the final and only Lord & Taylor store in New Hampshire at the Mall at Rockingham Park in Salem, New Hampshire. In my home state of New Jersey, uh, today we lost the Livingston Mall store in Livingston, New Jersey, and the Rockaway Town Square store in Rockaway, Dover Township, New Jersey, and New York took the biggest hit today with the Crossgates Mall in Albany, New York closing, Westfield South Shore in Bayshore, New York, the Walden Galleria in Buffalo, New York, the Walt Women Shops in Huntington Station, New York, Destiny USA in Syracuse, New York, and Ridge Hill uh, Village, which is located in Yonkers, New York. So I do have a map up here, so we're going to show you, um, particularly in the New York area, which Lord & Taylor locations have closed so far. So this is a sample map of all the Lord & Taylor stores uh, within within the New York area with featuring Connecticut, New Jersey, and New York. So I'm gonna give I'm gonna sh give my little uh, marker here, and we're gonna show you guys exactly um, which locations unfortunately closed for the final time today. So the Rockaway Town Square store oh, did not mean to do that. Uh, let's get this one. So the Rockaway Town Square store is officially closed. The Livingston store is now closed. The Walt Lumen Shops location is closed. The Bayshore location, which I'm going to put another X out here to represent that, is officially closed. The Danbury store is closed, and I'll put another X here to represent West Farms. That is closed, and Yonkers also closed today. So about half of the fleet, so pretty much the only Lord & Taylors remaining that are currently liquidating, at least in New Jersey, uh, our Westfield Guard, I'm sorry, Fashion Center, Westfield Garden State Plaza, Willowbrook Mall, which is quite a surprise that they kept that one open, Downtown Westfield, Bridgewater Commons, Manhasset, uh, I'm, yeah, Manhasset, Garden City, Stanford, Connecticut, and Westfield Trumbull, which is up the way a little bit along the coast of Connecticut, and Scarsdale. So, um, pretty much just about half the fleet is now offline. The, there's only two right now operating on Long Island. There is about, um, if you give three up here in North Jersey, four, make, make it four with Westfield, five. So about seven operating in New Jersey with two of them being in like Central Jersey, which is Freehold Raceway Mall and Quaker Bridge Mall. So again, uh, those So about seven left operating in New Jersey, four left operating in New York, two of them being on Long Island, the one in Scarsdale, and there's one other one in upstate New York that is still operating. But in New York, there it's only three freestanding ones. Uh, any of the, them in New York in our area that have been connected to a mall are now officially done. Um, but we have the two freestanding ones on Long Island still going. Stanford is still open, but the Danbury Fair Mall one and the West Farms Mall one is gone. So it's only in Connecticut, the only two that are left are Danbury Fair Mall and, I'm sorry, not Danbury Fair Mall, um, wet, not West Farms, no, uh, Westfield Trumbull and the freestanding store in Stanford, Connecticut. So those are the only two left in Connecticut and Massachusetts. It's the Natick Mall, and that's pretty much it, uh, unless you count the one in Washington, D.C. and Florida, and also Novi, Michigan, if you want to throw that one in there. So, again, these are, these are again, the X's are representing the Lord and Taylors that did close for the final time today. Those stores will never open again. Uh, today was their final day of operation. So if you did visit one of these stores today, 
um, and not just the ones with the X's, but the other stories that did close today. Um, I hope you were able to take advantage of the liquidate the remaining liquidation sales at those Lord and Taylor locations. Uh, again, we do not have a exact firm date for the second phase, but we can expect that second phase of Lord and Taylor locations to be closing very soon. As today we have lost the fir the first phase. Uh, just today, we could probably expect that date to come out at some point after the new year, but. Uh, in the meantime, this is all we know, and these, again, with where the X's that I put on the map are the Lord & Taylor locations that did close for the final time today. So, again, for anybody at those Lord & Taylor locations that did close today, I wish the absolute best of luck of finding a new job. Again, I know it's going to be hard given the pandemic we're in, um, but hopefully you can, can get back, you can be very resilient, get back up, and start uh, building up your covers and resume letters and get ready to apply for a new job. So... Anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Again, I will put a link in the description to what Lord and, Taylor, Lord and Taylor locations that did close today. And if you guys have any thoughts, let me know in the comment section below. So, anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video, and that will be it.